and welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm super excited to show you the 330DL Excavator by Diecast Masters. Now this here is an official product by CAT featuring a full metal body as well as a fully functional motion as well as sounds throughout. Now this particular model is coming out soon so if you wanted your very own be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now in this episode here we'll be unboxing it, trying it out and seeing what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind, unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. Alright, so this here's the box that you get. Uh, it's got a very nice high gloss finish and you actually have a handle coming out of it so you can go ahead and carry it about. Uh, now in terms of the way it opens, just kind of does that from the top and see what's on the inside. <laughs> nice. All right, so this is what it comes with. Uh, so you get your RC unit, uh, you get a battery pack as well as a charging cable, and then you have yourself a controller, a very standardized setup. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this out and take a closer look at this thing. All right, so this here's our excavator and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love all the small details that they use and they use real materials down to the bolts. Even the hose are made out of rubbers. It's actually very, very highly detailed. Now this makes a great showpiece for anybody just wanting to use it as a display, but it also serves as an RC car, which is also a lot of fun. Now the way you use it is simple. Uh, so it is kind of heavy, so just keep that in mind. But this here is where our battery pack will go. So you just go ahead and turn that and you can place the battery right in there. And then from there, just go ahead and clip it back into place and use a lock system right there and you're ready to go. Now in order to turn it on, there is an on off button here on the bottom. So you can see right there, it says on off. So you just go ahead and turn it on. And you'll hear that the sounds start working. Uh, it may, mimics it to the T in terms of the real sound effects of the excavator. It even has LEDs right here so you can go ahead and use it in the dark. Now the remote is quite interesting. So you have a few different controls. Uh, so you have a typical Xbox controller kind of setup. So if you go ahead and move the joystick on the left up, you'll see that it comes out just like that. You push it down, it'll come down like that. And if I rotate to the right, the whole body will rotate. Rotate to the left, the whole body will rotate, just like that. And then in terms of the right joystick, if I hit right, I'll open it. Left, we'll close it. If I do up, it'll go down. And if I press down, it'll go back up. Okay, and then on the top buttons here, we have a L2, R2, L1, R1. L2 will go ahead and spin it to the right. R2 will go ahead and spin it to the left. And then if you press both triggers at the same time, it'll go reverse. And if I press both triggers on the back at the same time, it'll go forward. So pretty self-explanatory. And you have these two buttons here that will go ahead and turn off the sound. So you can go ahead and use it without using the sound. Or if I press it again, it'll go ahead and turn back on. And you can see that it's pretty easy to use. So you can tell that they did a great job in terms of giving you the full movements of it. And you can see that it's very fluid-like, which is actually kind of cool to see like that. <laughs> that is awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and pause that for right now. And we're gonna go ahead and push this to the test and try it out and see if we can actually go ahead and lift things and move them about. All right, so this here is our challenge. So that's why I literally poured a bunch of blocks here and I want to go ahead and try grabbing with the excavator. And I'm going to import this to this little uh, plate right over here. So we'll kind of place that there and see if we can go ahead and maneuver it, pick it up and kind of dump it there. So hopefully it kind of works out well. So let's go ahead and try this on. So we're going to go ahead and turn on our excavator just like that. And then we have a remote control right over here. So let's see how this plays out. All right, so this here is our pivot or rotational movement just like that. And then we'll go ahead and move up just like this. There we go. Go ahead and bring this up just a little bit. And it's gonna go a little forward. And then uh, see if we can go to grab this. Nice. So we'll lift that up. Bring it back. Uh, we can go ahead and rotate like this, or we can go and rotate like that. There you go. Nice. So you can see that it's got a very nice fluid movement, which is kind of nice. Let's go move it forward. And let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and uh, grab some more. Just 
So I kind of have it down there, so let's go ahead and uh, reverse and pick that up. Okay, got that. And then we can go ahead and like go on the other side of it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and see if we can climb this. Let's go ahead and bring that back. Oh no! <laughs> we can just drop it from here. Nice. Um, yeah. Okay, whoops, okay. All right, well, the end was an epic fail, but overall, I have to say, I did not that bad of a job. <laughs> uh, I was able to pick up some bricks and kind of move them around, so that was kind of fun to see, especially since I've never really driven anything like this. I don't know, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Now, if you guys had any questions about the excavator, feel free to comment down below. And thank you once again to Diecast Masters as well as Cat for sending out this unique product. Now, if you guys had any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.